Evening, I'm Dan Wall. And I'm Laura Lee. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Suicide among emergency responders continues to be a growing concern across the nation. And now experts in the Northland are stepping in. This week, they're holding emotional resiliency training sessions for our local firefighters. Northern News Now's Car Cop was at that training and explains why it's so badly needed. For a firefighter, our typical day is the worst day in someone else's life. In any community, firefighters are one of the community's first lines of defense. They're regularly exposed to some of the most dangerous and upsetting situations. Superior's Fire Chief Cameron Volbrecht and his team know that stress well. You know, PTSD rates and suicide rates in the fire service are higher than they are in the general public. They're very similar to what we would see in active duty military because we're exposed to the same things. A pressing concern that grew when a study from the Rutterman Family Foundation found more first responders die of suicide than in the line of duty each year. So we have this history in the fire service of being the, this, this tough person mentality where we take everything and we kind of box it up into our, ourselves and eat it and we don't talk about it. But now the Superior Fire Department is trying to change that. They brought in the International Association of Firefighters to put on emotional resilience training. So what this training does for us is helps us give us the tools to recognize when we're having problems early and to give us some tools to help ourselves and do some self-help. And that could be uh, proper nutrition and diet, meditation, yoga, uh, changing their mindset from thinking about uh, negative ways of, of thinking about things to putting more of a positive spin on, on the topic. Offering simple suggestions that are manageable under a firefighter's busy schedule, including ways to eat healthier when one minute they could be eating dinner and next they are called to a fire. How to eat smaller portions, maybe how to eat in a uh, more healthy fashion, uh, when they eat, how they eat, what they eat. As well as creating a space to talk about traumatic experiences, lifting each other up so they can be there for our community when needed. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to talk about things that we're exposed to. It's okay to have emotions when it comes to this. And that this resiliency training helps us take that next step and that it's okay to move forward. In Superior, Car Cop, Northern News Now. And that resiliency training included firefighters from Superior, Duluth, Hibbing, and Ashland. They got to take part for free, all thanks to a grant from Ascensio.